Iowa. 26 consecutive games that they will start on offense. Khalil Hill, the Big Ten leader in kick return average. Northwestern in the purple and black. Iowa in the white jerseys, black helmets, and gold pants. And we're underway. Good to have you with us on a picture postcard afternoon in Evanston. This is Khalil Hill. Across the 30, out near the 35-yard line. Kyle McCann gets the start at quarterback today for the Iowa Hawkeyes. We'll also see Brad Banks. And the Iowa Hawkeyes offensively are getting the start here today. Khalil Hill, we talked about him a moment ago. He's the big play man downfield. They'll try to go downfield. Bruce Nelson's a former walk-on tight end, now a solid Big Ten center. They get motion from Betts to the slot. Nice little crossing route. Hill's got a first down near the 45-yard line. Got a slot at the top of your screen. McCann on the crossing route, and he's got C.J. Jones. Good speed. McCann, good throw over the middle. Dallas Clark is there. That's one reason why Iowa likes to get the ball early as they feel they can do something with it. On a delay, Jeremy Allen. And look at him move the pile forward inside the 15-yard line. That's big hole up the middle. Inside the five. Look at the time of possession. 7.15 and up the middle they go. Jeremy Allen reaching for the end zone. Touchdown! Nate Kading for the point after. And the extra point is good. Defensively for the Iowa defense, Joseph Uselman. Starting up front, placed the injured Derek Pickens, who will also play here today. Grant Steen is very active on the outside of linebacker. The secondary for the Iowa Hawkeyes, and they'll be busy today. Benny Sapp, 23 career pass breakups, and uh, this is a kid who's tough. He will not back down out there on the island. So he just did get that one away. Oh, my goodness. Aaron Campman almost got it. Khalil Hill looking into the sun makes the catch of the 15. Trying to make the turn, and he does. To the 30. He's to the 40. To the sideline. To the midfield marker. To the 40. He cuts it back and steps out of bounds near the 35-yard line. Betts. Boy, they carved him up well, and Liddell Betts rolls inside the 25-yard line to the 23. Second and long, Betts moves in motion. McCann screens it out, Allen running downhill to the 15, to the 10, and out of bounds. Near the 6-yard line with a first down. the touchdown. Quick count, Betts off the left side, touchdown! Kevin Lawrence met in the backfield. Jim, Randy Walker told us yesterday how this week was a very physical week of practice. I think so far his team's come out and has looked tired. I thought his team felt pretty good when he came out here today, so it's a bit of a surprise the Hawks have gotten a great start. Khalil Hill again. And Brad Banks in a quarterback for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Looks to the air. Going deep. C.J. Jones makes the catch between receivers. Between defenders and the receivers got it. First and goal. <laughs> Jeremy Allen inside handoff. Touchdown. Kustak keeps it. And here's at the first down. The ball did pop loose. And it's Iowa football. Not something that Zach Kustak does very often. He gets hit more as a quarterback than anybody else in the Big Ten. This, though, just looks, as you said, Cole gets his arm in there, knocks the ball, strips the ball loose, falls on it, and a key turnover, which gives Iowa excellent field position again. Seventh fumble loss this year by Northwestern. Banks tried to thread the needle there, intercepted. He's got a chance to go all the way. On the inter interception return. Well, Jerry Brown told us how his defense is not creating turnovers. They're not being aggressive. They're not doing things. Watch the hit right there. That causes the ball to go up and, and become bobbled. And Adams does a nice job of being in the right spot. Kustak now operating in enemy territory for the first time. Got a man wide open. Touchdown! Sam Simmons! One play after the interception by Jarvis Adams. Zach Kustak goes 29 yards to Sam Simmons. And with eight seconds to go in the first quarter, things beginning to turn here now. And McKeon, who looks to the air. 
Great protection going deep for Hill. Leaping grab. Sensational catch. First down at the two-yard line of Northwestern. 31-yard gain. Covington and Roush on the coverage. Kirk Ferentz has told us this year Khalil Hill has played like the senior leader they needed him to play. Nice little double move, but what's impressive is how he looks back, goes up after the ball, gets that right foot, actually winds up with both feet inbounds, makes a nice catch. When you're looking back at the ball, the defender's not, you know when to go up, and well, that was just an athletic play on I, Hill's I'll part. tell you what, that would have been a catch on the next level as well. <laughs> yeah. Oliver in motion. Grebbing gets the toss. He's got Allen to follow, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Second down. Liddell Betts, big hole. They are just filleting the defensive front. Second down. Blitz coming. They picked it up well. Banks has time, and he goes deep. Khalil Hill is out there. To the 20. Tripped up from behind near the 15-yard line. You start to question, what is too big a lead to be able to come back, especially when you can't get on the field? Banks is loose. Close to the end zone and just short. 18-yard field goal attempt. And he's got this one through the uprights. It's good. And the Iowa Hawkeyes, with two seconds to go in the first half, have a 31-7 lead over Northwestern. The numbers in the first half, the total yardage out, incredible. The number of plays in this first half, if you take a look at it, the Iowa Hawkeyes, 51 plays to just 21 for Northwestern, and that led to the disparity in time of possession, obviously. Kustak with good protection. Try to thread the needle. Pagel the interception. It's Iowa football near the 24-yard line of Northwestern. Gets to the outside. Touchdown. Northwestern resumes offensively. And here comes Torrey Stuckey trying to slant. And the Wildcats not able to get it done up front. Jerry Montgomery, the veteran who's been banged up of late, over to make the hit on the play. Mike Dallas will lead the way from the linebacking core. Kustak looking for the first down. Pull down from behind. Oh, I tell you, a great play. First it was Colin Cole, and then Aaron Campman got him to the floor. Motion out of the backfield. McCann in the pocket. Nice little off underneath. And nobody home. Allen running free, and he goes all the way for the touchdown. When you bring a back out, you, you bring receivers underneath, they're crossing, you see the man-to-man, -man. nobody went with Allen that time. A blown coverage, and then just an open field missed tackle here by Mark Roush. One-on-one, -on -one, not even a great move, but Roush just over-pursues, and that's just kind of been the, the day that it's, that it's been for Northwestern, just typical. So the Iowa Hawkeyes score. Uh, their first two possessions of the second half and extend their margin to 45 to 7. It begins with good protection up front. Just a little drop off, and this kid's got some quicks about him, Randy. When Jeremy Allen, 6-1 and 245, gets going downhill, he's pretty hard to stop anyway, but nice move there to lose Mark Roush, the free safety. Well, I kind of look at Jeremy Allen and think, this guy reminds me a lot of a Mike Allstott, a guy that can play running back, a guy that can play fullback. You know, there you see his size, 240 pounds. He's got excellent hands. You know, sometimes those big fullbacks that block, they got big shoulder pads. They can't get their arms up to catch the ball he doesn't have any problem with that I think Jeremy Allen is a tremendous talent this was a team selected to win the Big Ten Conference and now that they're not going to do that how do you finish how do you gather and come back and play strong down the stretch Kustak hit as he throws a wobbly pass up for grabs and intercepted by the Iowa Hawkeyes Bob Sanders at the 42 yard line of Northwestern <laughs> We talked about the pressure. Kustak has been under all day. Couldn't step up and throw. Uselman comes right and puts the helmet right into him. Again, when you're down 45 to 7, you take those chances. You try and force something to happen. And Kustak right now, Wayne, is really trying to do this all on his own. Joseph Uselman made the hit on the quarterback, and that was a wounded duck sailing up there that Bob Sanders picked off for his third interception of the season. 
Banks in the shotgun. That's Allen alongside. Banks, it's a good block from Allen. Now delivers. Khalil Hill, penalty marker down. Hill tripped up inside the 10-yard line at the 5. Jeremy Allen scored two on the ground, one through the air. The fake to Betts. Banks rolling, got a man right there. Jensen, touchdown. That was easy. So any team that runs the spread is going to struggle when their defense plays as poorly as Northwestern's has this year. Kustak pumped a couple of times, had to pull it down, and he was pulled down to the arms of Aaron Kempman. Not a bad one when he's your second or third one, but you can't count on your quarterback to carry your running game. Kustak going deep. And a good adjustment made on the far side. Kunle Patrick's got a first and goal near the four. Kustak under immediate pressure. Had to throw it for Witherspoon who makes the catch. And he's stacked up by Benny Sapp at the five-yard line. A net loss of two. Norm Parker's defense playing tough in the red zone here on this trip. Northwestern fourth and goal to go at the five. Kustak looking to the end zone, broken up nicely. Johnson with glove light coverage on Sam Simmons. Not today, not just next week, but from, from going forward, that's the program. The snap is muffed by Kading, and then he kicks it out of the end zone. And the penalty marker flies. Illegally kicking the football on Iowa. The foul occurred in the end zone. The penalty enforcement is a safety. Safety, yep. See if the sun is in his eyes as he's looking through it. It goes right through his hands. <laughs> and like any good kicker, I'm not picking it up and running with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of it. What's this again? Oh, my. Uh, yeah, good, smart heads-up play. If that hadn't happened, Northwestern gets the ball on the 15-yard line. A much more advantageous position for them sure. than to give up the two points, and now you get the free kick. Absolutely. So really heads-up play. Jensen, the man in motion. Banks on the handoff, grabbing. Oh, it opened up like the Red Sea for Moses, and there he goes, like Secretariat at the Belmont, inside the five-yard line. Crockett, the fullback, on the pitch. Massacoy getting to the outside, makes the turn to the end zone. Touchdown! Siaka Masakoy from Evanston, Illinois. Just a great effort by Masakoy. It looked as though Northwestern had it pretty well defended. Good pressure early, forces the pitch. Look at all the black jerseys out there. One, two, three, four of them. And boy, that speed by Masakoy just beats him to the corner. Nice effort. So the Hawkeyes add to it. 58 to 9 now with nine seconds to go in the third. Hating has been busy today, hasn't he? Between extra points and kickoffs. There's the youngster, the Evanston native. Well, let's go back to the play that set this up. Grabbing, look at the hole. Just a huge hole, Northwestern on a blitz. No safeties in the middle of the field. And then, uh, I believe you so uh, proudly called him secretary. It gets dragged down here uh, by, I don't know who, I don't know who finished, that, I don't know who, who showed in that race, uh, but I, uh, I, he caught it. I, I, Brad Banks still the quarterback. They really like this kid, Fred Russell. Good quickness and speed, and you could see it on display there. A 15-yard gain. Offensively, they're still throwing the ball at times, so it's something they started with, and it has continued throughout. Fred Russell, nice patient run around the end. Big gain, the largest of his career. Second down, and goal to go situation. Stouse to the end zone, touchdown. Second down call. Out of bounds near the 40-yard line. The quarterback is David Ray. He's the third quarterback for Iowa today. <laughs> Fred Russell to the 46-yard line. Outback Steakhouse, outstanding backs of the game. It's plural this week, and these guys have been outstanding. And Jeremy Allen, remember, two receptions, 65 yards at a touchdown, in addition to his rushing numbers. Congratulations to Kirk Ferens and the Iowa Hawkeye football program. They make a major step forward, and they win a road game 
in the Big Ten. Their first since last season at Penn State. They improved their record to five and four, three and four overall in Big Ten play and take another step toward bowl eligibility. They have two games remaining. They will play Minnesota at home next week to be followed by Iowa State on the road the following week.